my next guest heading on tour later this year to celebrate 60 years in music. Lulu joins me now. Um, so, champagne for Lulu, and that's not an instruction, although it should be. Champagne for Lulu is the title of the tour, isn't that's it? That's the name. Thank, thank you, that. Jennifer, for that title. Thank <laughs> you. Because that's right. when she, because she uses that that um, she uses it in Abu Fab. She does. And wherever I go in the world, there are people who just in the street call out. Somebody, champagne for Lulu. Champagne for Lulu, and I'm like, oh God. So. <laughs> When we thought, you know, I'm going to do, by the way, this is the first time I've said this. Right. This is a farewell tour. No. Yeah. No. It's a farewell tour um, with family and friends, which lives a little who, who, ah, what, when. Right. Uh, because I did a tour last year that was... Oh, it was many... It was It was, it was, it was gruelling. It was yeah. gruelling for many reasons, mm. and I don't have to go into them all, but, you know, I thought, I'm 75. And I don't ridiculous. feel it, but no, I am. You don't, and you don't look it as well. Huh. I've been up since five o'clock. That's why I've got my glasses on. I'm like exhausted, <laughs> fiddling with the hair, doing the get. What am I going to wear? Um, but I thought it's got to be a celebration because you know how much I love to sing. Of course, I love my music. Yeah. But the touring was. I thought I'm not touring. I'll be. I'll do gigs. You know. I'll. I'll and I want. I want to do my. I want to work, and I want to keep working. Of course. But You'll still be I, making music. You'll still be making want, music. I'm going to do an album. Excellent. I'm going to do an album with very interesting people. Yeah, so it's not like Lulu's going to stop. No. It's just like you're going to stop doing the big tours, the but you'll tours. still, you'll still the do tours, that. I've, yeah. So this is a celebration. It is a celebration. I start in Glasgow. I do two gigs, warm-up gigs, uh, one in Glen Ross and one in Aberdeen before right. the tour opens in my hometown. It, well, it has to be. Where else we would talked, it be? We talked about that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you haven't left in Glasgow for <laughs> years. I know. And you call it your home. You do. Well, that's a knee-jerk reaction, of you know, like I go is. into... And that's great that you're going to start there. And also, now, you mentioned there's going to be friends. We cannot say who's going to be no, there. No, you can't. But let's just remember who... Gary Ballard just called me before, but he's not necessarily coming. <laughs> not necessarily coming. He's not necessarily coming. going to be on the show. But, but he called me before at Weird Talks, let me just say that. <laughs> So you never know, because you've got some very, very interesting high-profile pals who may or may not pop in. Uh, that's going to be a that's all we're saying. And that's, I think, that's great. kind of what I felt um, about doing a celebration. That's why we champagne for Lulu. <laughs> but And it's, it's sort of farewell to touring. So, you know, obviously my die-hard fans will be not happy about that. But I don't say I'm going to stop. No, no, no. You'll still be doing... And, you'll still be performing. And I'm you'll acting. Still be I'm and doing... You now, know, look, I've just seen I you. I want to do more of that. I've just seen you in Arthur's Whiskey, Arthur's. which is in... Is it on Netflix just now? It's on Sky Movies. Sky Movies. I keep yep. getting mixed up. Yes. You just have to go through. It's easy. It's on, it's on Sky Movies, Arthur's Whiskey. I really like this. Did you see it? And, I mean, I've always been amazed that you didn't do loads, loads more acting. You, you and going... Brian Cox. Really? Did, did Brian get you into say, trouble? He always says to me, you've got to do more acting, you've got yeah. to do more acting. I think when I was younger, I was, I'll be honest, I was, I had fear about when you are going to really act, mm. you have to be vulnerable. You have to, you know, I mean, one of my favourite actresses at the moment is that f fabulous Saoirse Ronan. Oh, she's fantastic. Oh, I, I, do, I she's worship at your feet, Saoirse. <laughs> I'm sure you're not at a bed because, oh, you may be filming. She might be. She might be. She might be watching. <laughs> she, might, she might be. You never can because tell. Because her boyfriend's Scottish. That's very Ooh. true. That's very true. There we know, all, we all know the Jack. We know Jack. All the connections. But, um, yeah, if you're going to act, you have to be very truthful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to be prepared to... Um, be really vulnerable and I think mm. when I was younger I had fear of exposing myself but you were so I mean going way back to to serve with love you were a natural you could see that you know and I think like Brian Cox I think I think you should have done more but hey you're going to you're going to do lots more acting uh, after uh, Arthur's Whiskey do you feel it in my water I think so and I've been studying I've been studying with a great teacher a <laughs> great coach Leon and we have um you know studying Meisner and, and learning the craft of acting. Yeah. You know, maybe I have a natural aptitude. I think you for need it. to have that. I don't think anybody could do it, that's for sure. I feel that I do want to do more parts that take me deeper, mm. that are more. I talked about, you know, being vulnerable. You have to be very vulnerable, very brave to be a great actress, mm. a great actor. And uh, maybe I wasn't just brave enough because I don't know what I felt I would be exposing. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I'm not that interesting, but. <laughs> 
there's you know always know sort of trepidation mean. and fear yeah, and in these to be days, yourself. Exactly. And these days, of course, you've got all of the social media, which we should ignore, but of course we don't. And we should ignore all of that. How you've do got young get... performers manage know. to bat know. that off? I don't know, Lula. Could you imagine it's very hard. when you first started out, if there'd been Twitter and all of that? Same, you know, I, it would have been awful because you're saying, you know, because everyone's vulnerable. Yes. Gosh. Can I just say, you look older there than you do now. But look at that. That is not <laughs> a wig. 15. That is not a wig. But in those days, can I just say, back in those combed. days, it was back combing, it was a can of hairspray. <laughs> you didn't have any, you didn't have your hair dryer, thank you. And you know what? <laughs> that hair, I used to sleep on it. Jesus. Wake up the next day and just. Just back on my back home. Home. <laughs> more hairspray, more back home. Ah! Your hair is, you've always had fantastic hair, and that well, cut I, is so you know de what? aging. That cut is I learned very, I have learned a lot of things that, you know, I'm very grateful for. As, you know, because when people say, oh, you look good for your age, you look look, people just, are very generous. You just look good, full stop. But I have learned from a lot of mistakes. <laughs> and to have a good hairdresser is really important. To have a good colourist, my hair is grey. Oh, me too, but probably. But patchy grey. Yeah, me too. I mean, I've got wee bitties nice though. Grey. Everywhere. I mean, it's just. <laughs> and there's wee hair pieces, wee bits of hair pieces. Oh, in it. don't even ask me. Is it those wee clippy things? Yeah, look, there's one there. I, mean, I could probably. Oh, uh, I'm not going to. Don't pull take it out. out. I'm not going to because it'll don't collapse. Don't take it out because then it'll but collapse. Yet, you have to have. They are tricks of the trade. Yeah. And that's what you learn, you know, when you're. Um, in, when you've been around as long as I have. <laughs> it's not that long. Long may it continue. 75 so look, years. It's, it's, it, I'm 75 years old. 60 years in the business. Business. It's mad, isn't it? It's fantastic. I don't think there's anybody else like you. <laughs> the champagne. Champagne for Lulu. It's outrageous that we've not got champagne for you. I do apologise. You know what? It's we outrageous. didn't think about that. I know, we? I but know. you know what? Also, I'm do working on a book. There's a documentary in the, in the... And then there's an album in the... So it's like there's a lot of things going on. And champagne for Lulu, I think I'm going to use that, but add little bits to the... Well, well exactly. Yeah. Look, there's somebody coming up next that you may, you may know. In fact, I think you do. Ross! You know oh. the loo. <laughs> what is the Scottish invasion? <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Ross? Uh, I'm good, Lou. It's the Burns Bashing Thursday. You're going to be missed. Can I just say we your had voice a great gets time, better didn't we? and better and oh, better. Look. Oh, oh, you're so we kind. did. We had a wonderful time. But Lorraine, I've got to tell you, the first time that I met Lou, and of course she knows that she's one of my favourite people in the world, the first time I met her, I said to her, when you get up in the morning and it's cold, does your car, when you try and start it, go, wee? Oh. She gave me I the worst look I have is. ever the, seen. The look in my is life. here, Ross. <laughs> We're getting the look. That is for even for you, <laughs> even for you, you, that's a bad uh, joke. We love you, Ross. <laughs> Tell me what, what time is it there? What time is it in LA? Ross Lulu wants to know what it time is. It is 1.41 in, in the morning. In the morning. The man never sleeps. He never sleeps, he never, never sleeps. sleeps. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Thank we are going to do your podcast that so you've never asked me before, and I'm upset with you for that. Well, uh, it's, we're there. <laughs> we are there. That's good. I'm glad about that. 